Hey, hello everyone, this is Mr. E. Today I'll be going over the 2024 AP Marvel Science uh, FRQ answer set for the set one. So for question one, we can see we're given a graph comparing the DO and the biological oxygen demand in a stream ecosystem. So for part A, the answer is zone C as that's where the line of the DO is the lowest. For part B, we can see that there's an inverse relationship as like the higher the DO, the less the biological oxygen demand and vice versa. Part C, the answer is zone B, as we can see like that's where like the the amounts for each for each variable like changes from being constant to like uh, changing. So like, it starts like varying. So because of this we can kinda like uh, estimate that, that this is where like the non point source pollution was introduced. So for part D, the dependent variable is the number of macroinvertebrates. Um, in part E, a testable hypothesis would be that like the lower the DO, the lower the micro macro invertebrate species richness. Um, in part F, we can say that they selected zone A because it was upstream for where the pollution is introduced. Um, we can see that like like um, the amount of like dissolved oxygen and like the biological oxygen demand at zone A is constant, so it would be like easier for the researchers to like measure and study as well. Um, so for part G, we can say that collecting data in the, in the winter will increase dissolved oxygen as like lower temperature waters uh, have like hold higher amounts of DO. Um, this could affect the sustain sustainability of the environment to support different species, which could like, alter the uh, results of the investigation. Um, and then for part H, we can say that it can increase um, non-native species, uh, non-native bacteria in the water. For part I, there's like many different answers for part I. Um, some examples are like the pH and like the amount of sunlight that can reach the water. Um, and then for part J, we can say that uh, organic pollutants can like bioaccumulate in like lower level tropic species. Um, this could lead to like biomagnifications, um, biomagnification in like higher trophic level species, which can cause like health damages such as, such as like difficulties in reproduction. Okay, question two. So for A, we can say the, an the answer is uh, 50 square meters. B, the answer is a type three survivorship curve. Um, since um, it's a type, it's R selected. Um, for C, we can say that since it's an R just it can grow and reproduce quickly, providing protein at a rapid pace. Um, so for part D, we can say that the answer would be uh, the answer would be uh, chicken since there's less CO2 emissions. Um, and since carbon dioxide can play a huge role in like environmental like uh, damages through like climate change and stuff, having less CO2 would result in like less environmental damage. So for part D, um, the answer is, sorry, 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 for part E, the answer is uh, it can pr it produces like methane. So cattle like producing cattle protein will actually produce methane, in addition to the CO two that's already being produced. Um, so since methane is a very potent greenhouse gas that can cause a lot of like lo global climate change and stuff, um, producing extra like methane on top of the CO two would uh, would actually increase like the imp its impact on global warming in comparison to like the other animals tested. Um, so for part F, we can say that uh, it, will, it will lead to a decline in water quality due to overgrazing, leading to an increase in turbidity. For part G, we can we can use uh, rotational grazing, which is where you move cattle to like different areas periodically to allow the soil to like replenish itself with like nutrients and stuff. Um. So, and then for part H, we can say we can use cover crop. So by using cover crop, we can stabilize like the soil in the area. Um, and then since the like, soil is more stabilized, there's like, uh, they can decrease soil erosion as it's not like as, it's more firm in a way. Um, and then for part I, we can say, uh, we can turn the cover crop into a green manure through mulching. 
So through this process, we can add nutrients and it can, we can increase the organic content, content in the topsoil. And then for part J, we can say that it can lead to like an, in, uh, an, in, an increase in like storm intensity. Um, and because like as like storm intensity is like directly linked to climate, this could increase erosion and reduce the available nutrients in the soil. Like as it's eroding like the soil, it will reduce like the amount of nutrients in the soil. And then this is question three. So for part A, the answer is uranium thirty two thirty five or plutonium. Um, you don't actually have to put like the two thirty five at the end. So if you just had like pluton plutonium or uranium, that should be good. Um, so for part B, we can say that there's thermal pollution, as like warm water holds less dissolved oxygen. This could lead to like suffocation and the death of species that require higher amounts of DO. For part C, the answer is 7.7 .7 times 10 to the 7 um, kilowatt hours. So you can get this by multiplying 4.1 times 10 to the 12th by 0.189 since uh, well, that like since it only the nuclear power accounts for 18.9% of the total commercial electricity. Um, so for part D, we can say uh, it will lead to like, a decrease in particular matter. And since particular matter is known to have like cause like health complications, a decrease in that would lead to like less, less health complications. Um, additional advantage would be like there would be more habitat for like, organisms that rely on forests. So it would lead to like, an increase in like habitats. Um, and then for part F, the answer is 32,873 homes. So to calculate this, you, you would multiply 7.4 times 10 to the 7 by 4.76 kilowatt hours. And then, uh, so that's like the total amount of like uh, electricity. And then uh, to calculate the number of homes, you would have to divide that number by 10,715 which would yield like 32,873. And then for part G, the answer is 5.21 times 10 to 11 CO, uh, 10 CO2. So to calculate this, you would first multiply 8.99 times 10 to 11 by 0.42. So that would, that would give you like the amount of uh, CO2 produced by combustion natural gas. And then Given it with that new value, you'd find the difference between that value and the original eight point nine nine times ten to eleven. So you just like subtract, um, eight subtract the value from eight point nine nine times ten to eleven, and then that should give you five point two one times ten to eleven CO two. Thank you.